and you and you and you and you but not you or you or or you either, you if, a part of you, your you-ness, but not necessarily you. Sometimes when I use the word you, I mean everything outside of me, which includes you. However, sometimes when I use the word you, I mean you. As in, as in you. As in you and only you. And you know who you are if you know what I mean. Though admittedly there are times when I use the word you, when I say you, but truth be told, I'm actually referring to me. <laughs> there will be a day when you will come back and they will see you again for the very first time and they will ask you, where have you been? And when they do, tell them that you have been vacationing in a riddle, that you've been dangling from the point of a question mark that is hooked to the bottom of a lowercase e that serves as the silent back door for the word home. Tell them that you have been behind a curtain this whole time, peeking through the middle slit, waiting to make a grand entrance, trying to decide just how fashionably late you want to be. Tell them that you have been walking towards an, an horizon ever since the day you left, but that you never quite reached it. And even though the people who say that they saw you last swear they watched you fade beyond it and somehow you ended up right back here trying to explain where you've been when you aren't even certain that you ever even left to tell them you got lost, but not nearly as lost as you would have hoped. Tell them that you found yourself, but you were nothing like you would have expected, that you fell into a statistical loophole, that you've been wandering back and forth between point A and point B, scaling the outside of a y-axis, sitting on the top of a bell curve. Tell them that mainly, mainly you've been some denomination of busy. And, and when they look at you with a curious smile in their eyebrows and ask, well, well, what have you been up to? Tell them you've been out there, rounding up all the flying fucks that you said you didn't give. <laughs> one by one by one by one, and reevaluating the pedestal that you built for your indifference. See, when their eyebrows contort into question marks and their jawline flexes with suspicion, reach into your pocket and give them one as proof. Cup it with two hands to prevent it from flying away. Again. Tell them that you've been going around impersonating an evangelical preacher in your head, dressing your mind up in a gaudy three-piece suit and shoving people in the middle of the street, then congratulating them on being healed. Tell them that you've been researching extensively for a dissertation you'd like to write about monogamy, but that you can't decide which text to use as your leading resource. Tell them that the whole time you've been gone, that you've just been going around asking everyone you meet to define the word irony. <coughs> and that their responses were nothing like you'd expect. Tell them that when you say that you've been busy, that what you meant is that you met God. Well, actually, that you met all the gods. Allah, and Aphrodite, and Thor, and Vishnu, and Biyame, and Hashem, and Anthea, and Zeus, and Iris, and Jesus, and his father, and the three wise men, and the great Juju up the mountain, and Haida, and the Buddha, and all of them. And you weren't looking for any of them. You just happened to wander into the same dark room that they happened to be in, and the orgy only lasted like eight and a half minutes. But the cuddling, <laughs> the cuddling went on for centuries until you finally slithered your way out from under Brahman's heavy chest and walked the fuck out of that darkness. And if their eyebrows twist incredulous-like and the lines in their foreheads spell out disbelief, take out your phone and show them all the dick pics that Jesus keeps sending. <laughs> Tell them you've been in the northwestern region of China weighing the Taklamakan desert one grain of sand at a time, but that you finished early, so you came back. And at this point, their faces will, will, will likely contort with such winced confusion that you might feel an obligation to justify the quantity of your exaggerations, but, but don't. Don't. Thank you.